Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you are enjoying your Google Cloud Next sessions. And welcome to our session on how startups organizations are optimizing their cloud costs and maximizing their value on Google Cloud. My name is Eric Lam, and I'm the head of Cloud FinOps at Google. With me joining here today is Hasrat Godel, who leads commercializations and head of infrastructure engineering at Neuro. We have a lot to cover today, so we'll jump right in. We'll be hearing directly from Neuro AI on how they approach the discipline of cost savings and accelerate the adoption of cloud FinOps. To set the backdrop for the conversation, we'll start with an overview of the Google Cloud Framework to FinOps and cost optimizations. And then we'll deep dive into the best practices on how a startup like Neuro optimizing its cloud services on Google Cloud. The reality of the industry is that the public cloud continues to grow at an exponential rate. And organizations, whether they're big or small, are seeing over 30% in wasted cost spend alone in 2021. As such, according to the Flexera State of Cloud report earlier this year, 59% of companies are focusing on cloud cost optimization as one of the key strategic initiatives for the sixth time in a row. So at Google, we define cloud enough as essential and operational framework and a cultural shift. It's an opportunity to, to bring technology, finance, and business leaders together to drive that financial accountability. And as much as we talk about cost optimization, it's also about accelerating the business value and helping organization transform specifically for a startup. So as we work with many customers of size and scale from startup to global enterprises, we see there are five critical building blocks to successfully drive cloud FinOps and cost optimizations within the organizations, right? Certainly one of the key focus areas today is centered around cost optimization, as this is a continuous discipline and now one time and done effort. To do this in a continuous and proactive manner, there are essentially four key steps where startup companies can start implementing immediately and today. And the first step start with essentially getting full cost visibility into your organization cost spend and consumption. Getting that single pane of glass view is very, very important. The second step is developing a set of cost aware architecture patterns that will be used as the blueprint for many other applications to be deployed on Google Cloud Services, right? And third, we'll need a set of controls and policies to proactively manage your cost spend. And this is very important. This is something area that we see as an opportunity for many organizations to embrace. And we'll call this as policy as code or governance as code. And finally, the fourth step is to drive awareness and training through a series of enablement programs. We see a spectrum of customization strategy as we work with customers. And the strategy ranges from the level of efforts and the saving the ability to achieve. What you see here on the screen are the top 10 ways made of our customers are leveraging to lower their cloud costs. And it depends upon a use case. Some strategies are going to be providing the highest value with very minimal effort, right? So those are what we call the low hanging fruit and such as purchasing commit use discount or cuts and reserving slots for BigQuery. There are also other strategies that can be employed during the architecture and design phase for your cloud project, like auto scaling, choosing the custom VM to right size, the machine based on your workload specific requirements. So with the framework and strategy in mind, we'll now jump into a conversation with Hasbro and Neuro, an autonomous vehicle startup on how they drive cost optimization with some of these techniques. So Hasra, to kick us off, as the digital native startup company, can you share with us some of the challenges that you face to drive cost efficiency and maximize the investment received? Thanks, Eric. Neuro is a startup in the Bay Area with a mission to better everyday life through robotics. Our first product is a last mile delivery service, which leverages a fleet of custom designed autonomous electric vehicles. 
a large part of our R&D in production services operate in the cloud. In terms of challenges, firstly, we are constantly scaling along multiple dimensions. Over the past year, we've begun running sustained operations on public roads. This was enabled by a rapidly growing team and continuous improvement of our autonomy software. A big challenge for us has been maximizing the utilization of our cloud spend during this incredible growth phase we have been in. Secondly, you know, building autonomy software is a complex and resource intensive process. Neuro collects, processes, and stores hundreds of petabytes of time series data. This data is used to power simulations and to train advanced machine learning models. Simulation technology in general has very few limits to parallelization. And we're constantly looking for ways to improve the frequency, scale, and fidelity of our simulations. There's also the constant challenge to fully utilize the allocated compute hardware and efficiently load balance across CPUs and GPUs. Lastly, you know, in a growing cross-functional organization, it's extremely important to stay aligned with stakeholders. With the help of our GCP partners, we have created structure across software, finance, and our leadership team. And this group drives visibility into costs, manages plans, and action items. Thanks for sharing that, Hasra. It's very interesting to hear how you know Neuro is leveraging Google Cloud Services to innovate in solving you know the industry-wide problem. So, what are some of the key lessons learned from doing cost optimization on Google Cloud? Yeah. So, with any software system, the initial focus for a startup is often just to get your MVP functionality set up. You know, a big lesson for us uh, and to learn early in your cloud journey is to recognize that material savings can be realized by focusing on cost optimization. For Neuro, it has been, uh, it's been very obvious that constant focus on this drives meaningful dollars back into our business. And the ROI of this effort compounds over time. Another big lesson for us is to create the right cross-functional buy-in. By doing so, you equip the team with the right people and the right tools. And this allows you to bring visibility into your cloud spend across the organization. It lets you better understand the key drivers for your cloud spend. Also then increases your ability to holistically forecast and proactively manage your spend. Now the final lesson is to just build a strong partnership with the GCP team, leaning on them for best practices and identifying very incremental savings opportunities. They've been incredibly helpful in driving structure for us and shaping our direction for cost optimization. Thanks for sharing your lesson. Sorry, I want one question I do want to ask, and this is a fun one. <laughs> so if you have a magic wand to go back in time, what will be one thing that you would do differently to drive financial resiliencies at Neuro? So for us, the answer would for this would be you know doing bottoms up detailed budgets sooner. You know, by doing so, you get much closer to your existing spend, get your key cost drivers set up, and also understand areas of opportunity. This also helps each of your teams understand the role that they're playing in the larger project and come up with a very specific plan for cost optimization for each project. Yeah, that's 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 a very good point. Um, we, you know, as we work with many Google Cloud customers, we do see there's, you know, certainly a top-down approach, right? Getting a macro view into the overall cloud span, but also the bottom up is as equally important, right? As you build your use case and the workloads and looking at really at that granular level to figure out where are your cost efficiencies are. So really appreciate you sharing that. So tell us more about a biggest wins, right? From a FinOps and cost saving perspective as you have you know, embraced Google Cloud Services. Yeah, to start with, it was all about increasing visibility you know, and observability. For us, it was essential to create easy to use metrics and dashboards and then to start using them to get visibility into our costs and trends. Next, you know, we created a very structured and detailed process to track and plan for cost optimization. This led to very effective capacity planning. And then we invested into cost saving initiatives such as retention policies for all our data, compression for all the data that's stored in the cloud. With capacity planning, we also became very structured in the purchasing of our committed use discounts. With this mix across SCUDs and preemptible nodes, we're basically buying our base and renting our peak. So lastly, we became very good at measuring and forecasting the impact of our cost optimization changes. As this, in, this increase in predictability was very valuable in strategic planning. Being a cloud first startup, we spend millions of dollars on cloud. And the delta this creates from cost optimization is very significant. Yeah, thanks, thanks for sharing. So with the uncertainty of the economic headwinds, what advice would you give to other similar 
digital native startups to optimizing their cloud investment until the market opens up again soon, I hope. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I want to acknowledge that this is truly a challenging time for startups and costs mm -hmm. are really top of mind for all of us. We would highly recommend, you know, starting very early with cost tracking and optimization, no matter how big you are. Even if you haven't looked into it yet, there are probably already some savings you can get from it. Uh, more importantly, though, it will start building the right discipline within the team. And, you know, you would avoid costly inefficiencies before you scale. Secondly, you know, you invest in detailed bottoms up budgets um, and really identify your key cost KPIs and drivers. For example, for us, we see a very high correlation of the costs, cloud costs, with the amount of miles being driven. Um, and this, you know, cost per mile metric is very important for us to track. So identify your own key metric and sort of, you know, track it down. Um, third is, you know, be very, you know, create visible channels to review and track your KPIs, your budgets, your trends, and your action items. I think just that structure gives you a lot of focus um, on optimization. And lastly, you know, make sure you lean on your Google Cloud partners. They're a really big source of support. Thanks for uh, teeing that up. So talking about leveraging Google Cloud resources, um, Google Cloud does have a set of tools to help startup companies uh, jumpstart and scale securely and cost effectively from ideation to an IPO. So the Google Cloud for Startup program is a design essentially to give startup company the financial, business, and technical support needed to be successful. So through this program, eligible startups will have access to Google experts, cloud credits up to $100,000 for the first two years, as well as additional benefits across a set of Google Cloud products and services. So for a startup company, apply today at cloud.google dot com slash startup. And once again, thanks everyone for, again for listening and have a great Google Next conference wherever you are in the world.